Hello, hello guys, and welcome back to another episode on the Iron Republic server. Been playing this for a bit, and we've got um, some stuff going, a lot of stuff going on the server. And yeah, uh, we are mainly sticking together for now. Um, as you see, we have a bit of a spawn town going. Some people have already started their major builds. Um, I haven't, but yeah, we're going to start a bit of a build today, because... Uh, caving can get quite boring and did cave in your last episode. By the way, I already have three deaths and that's the death counters for now. I'm equal with Chimic and I died twice yesterday. I was hoping I could keep it at one death after dying stupidly <laughs> or because of falling in a hole, but yeah, unfortunately couldn't. So yeah, a bit of a spawn tank going. Uh, spawn farms. That is my house over there behind that sugar cane. If we could remove some of this, we could probably see it better. Des decided to display my richness by placing iron blocks there and coal blocks of course. I've um, got a bit of a sheep farm going because we're going to need it for the build we are doing today. Um, by the way, if you guys didn't know, um, sheep can't jump on trapdoors apparently or at least they haven't been because um, yeah ever since I placed those there they haven't been getting out which is great. Because I can safely go in there and go out without them escaping. But, yeah, what do we want to build today? Today, uh, first of all, look at the resources I've got. <laughs> quite a bit of redstone blocks and quite a bit of gold blocks as well. Um, could make quite a bit of apples if I need to. But, um, today, what I want to build is an automatic furnace. And it's going to look just like a furnace on the inside and on the outside, which is going to be pretty cool, I think. We're going to build it right over here. And, yeah, going to make it look like a furnace on the outside. Um, I've already designed a pixel art in single player. And I wish I could insert it with Windows Live Movie Maker, but, um, yeah, I can't do that mid-clip. Maybe I'll get Sony Vegas or something. If you guys have any suggestions for... Um, video editing softwares, post them in the description below. But yeah, I'm not sure how much of this we'll get done today, but I think it will be pretty cool, especially considering the server has a lot of um, tick lag at the moment, so smelting is really, really slow. And this is because of a new zombie AI. Um, hopefully we'll fix that in the next update. But yeah, for now we'll have to use this to make it faster. Now the plan is to use um, a minecart to transport the coal and the resources to the furnace. So um, yeah, I've got some hoppers going. Um, it's going to be pretty much like this. One cell is... yeah, I should really get an iron pick going. And you see, tick wag, as I said. But um, yeah, let's grab a block that's easy to destroy. Hopper's going to go that way. Fern is going to be on top, and um, a thing's going to be coming in from the bo back like that, and from the top like that. There's going to be a rail on that, and a rail on the top one as well. The top one's going to put in items to the top spot of the furnace, and this is going to put in the fuel into the furnace, as you see right there. And yeah, we're going to try to make it as if it's... GUI of the furnace. So there's going to be um, a coal minecart chest down here and a resource chest somewhere up there. Hopefully we can make this um, several rows into the air because a 16 by 16 furnace only allows for, um, as you know, f about 15 or so furnaces or even 14 in a row. So hopefully we can make it um, several stacks, at least at least twice in height. But, yeah, I don't like doing redstone on camera, so I think I'm going to get some of the redstone mechanics behind this done. And, yeah, then we can uh, take a look at um, designing the furnaces, heads and stuff like that. But, yeah, I think this is going to be a pretty cool project. Uh, hopefully it will get used a lot. And also, um, Nathan, or Ivy in the foot, um, server told me that he's going to attach a charcoal generator to it so you can pretty much put just wood in there 
and you will get um what's it called um charcoal instead of coal instead of having to use coal but yeah go gather some more resources maybe go caving again because I don't think I have enough iron for the amount of hoppers I need and go gather some wool as well but yeah this episode we're gonna get a lot of things done hopefully and see you here <laughs> he just came on and yeah, that guy's burned out of a new minecraft but yeah gonna get some stuff done and we'll meet you guys in a bit and we're back so <laughs> done quite a bit of work it's about seven or so hours later <laughs> so yeah um i've not only been working on this i've been doing some caving and also doing some IRL stuff but yeah we finally got it done um at least the <coughs> mechanics behind it don't know why i'm getting 17 fps but yeah this thing might be behind that don't know um if i'm out of hoppers is actually what's causing the lag might have to remove one of these rows but for now we'll keep it this way but yeah i um, want to show you guys how this works um, pretty much um, you put uh, whatever items you want to smelt in the top chest right there got some cobble to smelt and whatever you want to smelt it with in the bottom chest below so you need about 8 coal per stack I believe and let's roll uh, the minecarts will distribute the items amongst the furnaces it will distribute it evenly as I'm sure and when the minecarts come back if they still have an item they'll go for another round and <coughs> they'll keep doing that until they empty out all the items that are in the uh, in them which is pretty cool but yeah as you see um, we've had quite a bit of cobble in there before from testing and stuff like that so yeah um, there's a bit more cobble than coal and this will probably not smelt at all but once all this is smelted it gets transported here and we already have 25 stone which is pretty cool and i hope she knows where i'm recording don't walk in front of me share or i'll slap you but <laughs> anyway um yeah it looks like a cool chest is done and as you see it just stands back while the uh, cobble chest will keep going until it fills up or um, runs out of inventory and I have no idea how much it still has but yeah this looks pretty snazzy and that it consists of 20 furnaces will make smelting much much quicker as you see we already have a stack and 20 but yeah um, I heard hoppers can cause FPS lag so we might have to remove some of them I have no idea but if we do, that's alright. Just want to build this and show it to you guys. But, yeah. Makes from some pretty efficient smelting, I would say. Um, I really like it. We really like the build. And let's take a look at some of the redstone. Um, right here, as you see, um, we have... It's starting out on the power track, right? So, this button powers the power track. That's pretty easy. Common sense, really. But after that, it comes to the texture track. This texture track uh, sees if uh, minecart has items, minecart with chest. If it does, it sends a redstone signal into this block, which gets extended by this repeater, and gets um, the red, the powered rail powered. Right now, um, when it goes around in one circle, um, this will be what checks if it still has items and needs to do another circle. Now if this still has items, this will get powered and the power track will get powered again and it will go into another loop and it will do this until it empties itself which is pretty, I think, self-explanatory. Now this um, also has, as you see right there, just got powered. But yeah, this also has this jumbled mess of a thing which is I couldn't really make it tieable. I don't know why, but yeah, I had a hard time doing it. And you're getting a bit of server lag. Because I bet zombies are spawning by now. And it's night time. 
And the zombie AI makes a server lag, unfortunately, as we found out in these past few days. But yeah, when it comes down, um, it goes up top first, then it goes down, and you see those power tracks, which um, speed it on its way. And here, it just goes straight, because, well, it's going straight already, and it doesn't switch directions. Yeah, it's a jumbled mess, I would say. Took quite a bit of time to figure out, but now it works. And all we've got to do is figure out the design and the outside. And I have an uh, image of a pixel art I want to do, which is of course going to be a furnace. And it's going to, I'm probably going to build the front side of it today. I uh, don't know if I have enough resources to build the other sides. But yeah, in this time that I was talking, we've already got all this stone. Look at that. That is simply epic, I think. But, yeah. I think I'm going to get started on the front side of the furnace. Probably going to take some fall damage accidentally. Hopefully I don't take too much, because as you see I've already taken four hearts. That's without eating any apples or dying once. So yeah, I've been doing pretty good on the death count. Quite a bit of people on, I like it. But, yeah. Um, while I was doing that, I've gathered quite a bit of resources to build the thing. As you see, I've got stone, I've got slabs, and all that good stuff. So, hopefully we'll have enough to finish this. <laughs> Bread the sheep up a ton. But, yeah, um, I'm going to go do that. And I'll bring you guys back when I'm finished. See you guys in a bit. And here we are guys, so finish the front face and that took pretty much all the wool that I had and all the stone and such. <laughs> uh, Matt died for his first time, well that, that's kind of satisfying I guess. Ooh, what's going on over there? Maybe I'll check that out, but yeah, I think this is all the work that I'll do on this today because it is getting quite late and I'll need to farm some more wool but yeah it works quite nice um, I think if you guys have any suggestions or modifications for pixel art I actually made this myself uh, no what's it called included um, didn't use um, sprite craft or anything like that but I think it works pretty cool it works similar to a furnace I would say I um, had to use a bunch of core blocks um, it's not going to take as much core blocks on the sides. Uh, actually, I think it's not going to take any core blocks on the sides. But, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Pasta. Um, let's go check out some other stuff. Because, yeah, I haven't walked around a lot. So, first of all, um, these bridges. Made by um, Jughead and Ikeel. And I think they look very nice um they just weren't laid up i lit them up mobs were spawning on them at night but they look pretty fancy right there also walkways um we're not going to do a systematic spawn like we did last time this time we're going to do a spawn that's just random like i'm going to have a passageway going off to here to my little building right there and people are just going to have buildings all over the place and then build their passageways so we're not going to build buildings off um, of plots, we're just going to build uh, plots off of buildings, I guess, so to say. But, yeah, uh, walking around here, we see that somebody has built a bit of a building at Spawn, or I think that might be Boogaloo's Tower. Um, someone built a small automatic smelting system, and wow, they have smelted a lot of stone. I bet that's Boog, yeah pretty sweet um and this is boog's ocean claimed by boog and yeah if you look at it from a distance that totally looks like a furnace that is pretty cool right there just gonna remove that birch tree and i think it will look pretty sweet also planning to do something with redstone lamps possibly if we have space uh, maybe they could light up when they have stuff in the furnace <laughs> which would be pretty cool but Oh yeah, more of these bridges over there. That's what the bridges looked like before. Now they look like this, which is much nicer. I like the supports because 
makes them look much more realistic. But yeah, I actually didn't take a heart of damage when I was building um, the thing, the furnace. <laughs> uh, rambling on because it's getting quite late and I'm getting quite tired, but wow, this looks fancy. It really does. I really like it. I can't wait to see what this is going to turn into. But I think, yeah, Boog's building that. Pretty fancy. And some cobblestone building is over there. Somebody's base, somebody's first base. But I definitely like how um, you're trying to build. Oh, I thought I would take a heart, but no, didn't. But what I was going to say is I really like how you're building around nature and yeah, not making it into a flat platform. Um, let's go inside, check it out. But yeah, strip mine, some water, bed. Yeah, some pretty nice stuff. <laughs> not nothing much in the chest. But yeah. Um let's go check out some other people's bases. I heard um Ruffles is building a pretty cool casino and he's inventing his own like machines. Which um is pretty cool. <laughs> and Matt just got some diamonds. That's what we call um diamonds on the server, I guess. <laughs> uh horsey. You're not tamed, okay. Yeah, quite a bit of horses on this seed, as you see. Horses back here, horses back here. And I actually got my first horse. I named it Spirit, and I actually watched that movie, Chimic. So, yeah, I was making reference to that movie. And I know the horse in that movie was um, black and had a spot um, on its front. But, yeah, my spirit is completely white. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, this is the casino that Wolfles is building. He's a quite a good builder. And I like this nice little build that he has. Let's go inside here and check out what's going on. Hopefully I'm not spoiling anything since Wolfles does actually record. But yeah, I think this is the... <laughs> the machine itself. Don't know how it works, I just heard him talking about it in... Um, chat. But, yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, maybe we can um, play this a bit later, when it's all explained to us and stuff like that. But, quite a bit of redstone and stuff, which I always like. Always like my redstone. As you see by the redstone contraption that I built. Or, maybe it's semi-redstone. Not really redstone. Man, Waffles is here. <laughs> Was wanting to play. <laughs> uh, maybe next time. <laughs> okay, um. Uh, apparently it's not working yet, but it looks pretty cool, whatever he had there. I uh, feel the wheat that is, um. Uh, <laughs> of course I did. Bullshit, I didn't bore it. Okay. <laughs> That's exactly how you spell in English. But anyways, yeah, as I was saying, this is um, the house of... <laughs> oh, come on, people. Stop distracting me. Whose house is this? This is Swayrak and I kills. I kills the guy making the passageways. Trapped a bit, quite a bit of horses here. My greedy people. Um, but yeah, looks like a nice starter house. Um, lots of sheep, lots of stuff. They, um, hook oh, apparently wanting us to remove all our buildings and build nicer ones. But yeah, I think that building looks quite nice, and uh, I like how it blends in. And I think it's here to stay. <laughs> but. Yeah, that thing definitely looks amazing. Not gonna go up there because I'm scared to death to fall. Because uh, Frost has fallen it down from it so many times and sicked so many deaths from that. Um, he has even more deaths than Pasta. Or maybe not. I have no idea. But look at that, guys. Our furnace. It's, it's getting things done and <laughs> I bet it's gonna help a lot of people on the server. With this melting, so can't wait. Um, I don't know if there's 
space to fit in um, Nathan's um, charcoal generator here because yeah I didn't leave much space at all for anything maybe back here or something don't know we'll have to ask him about that but yeah the plan is to keep this open right here so we can see the mica riding back and forth probably going to close off this area to like over here so that's going to be all closed off so we don't see that ugly redstone and stuff like that because <laughs> but it's pretty organized for me I would say isn't it just take a look at that I like it <laughs> by the way this is getting powered from a upside down lever <laughs> but yeah I smothered some more stone and it def this, def this thing definitely works fast so, yeah, um, definitely excited to play in the server. Um, I know you guys like dungeon rooms a lot, but I am kind of addicted to this right now. Gonna get back into dungeon rooms though in a bit. Um, I've been kind of burned out of it because I haven't moved anywhere since, like, from my tier three. But hopefully, you can move on onto tier four somehow. I have no idea how, but <laughs> yeah, hopefully you guys don't hear those background noise, people partying. But, <laughs> as I was trying to say a half an hour ago, or not half an hour ago, wait, five minutes ago or so, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the Iron Republic server. Raining as always, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye bye. Alright, people on YouTube we're gonna go and play Buffalo's Casino because apparently he has Morning. it Hi now. YouTube Hi you're in TeamSpeak but <laughs> You recording? Yeah I No he's just talking to himself <laughs> Yeah <laughs> of right. course I am I get, get embarrassed really badly Do you mind? Alright <laughs> That's that's a good thing I'm wondering why it's oh. all blocked up, it's because the mobs were trying to kill me. Okay, so, how, do, after me, man. how does this work? Uh, throw a gold nugget into a hopper below, watch what you get in the slot. If you get free cobble, win. If not, you lose. Wait, so, um, if I get free cobble, I win? You get three cobble yes. in the... So what happens is, dispensers up here dispense down. And these glass blocks push out so that so you can see what you got, and then they um. Uh, where does the winning get contract. spit out? Uh, or do you just manually you give it to me? This this one comes out here. Oh. So uh, and um. If you like, sometimes it shoots an arrow, sometimes it shoots a block. That's what the odds give. Um. So if it shoots an arrow, the arrow just carries on going. If it shoots a block, it waits on there until that. It uh, retracts and then it goes to the hopper and sends a signal. Sweet, okay. I'm gonna throw one in. Here we go. What? You got two. Oh. Bullshit. Okay, one more. You lost. You got three arrows. <sighs> What's that one, you? Bull odds. You got one. <laughs> I'm wasting a whole <laughs> gold ingot on this. Wealth was oh, yeah. profit. Damn it. You got two blocks, two blocks there. Oh, come on. One block. <laughs> this is bull. I see blocks falling. <laughs> Arrows. God damn it. <laughs> I hate this game. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Bye. This casino sucks. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> I can change. <laughs> I hey waffles, I look at what I took. Go get some gold. No. Oh yeah, dude. I took yeah, your dude, winnings. Wow. All right. But All right, can I'm can you actually over. win this game? Yeah. Yeah, I've won it. And would you like me to simulate us. a win for you? Sure, sure. Please. Yeah, you Please do. Think. We. Okay. This is what a win simulator does. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, very nice. That's, oh, what, that's what happens if you win. Wow. Oh, well, I'm coming. Go. That's actually pretty impressive. Yeah, that is. I wonder how you did this. I have Magic. no idea. Um, well, I, like, 
Oh, crap, Everybody says, oh, right. how did you randomize it? How did you randomize it? But dispensers have built-in randomizers, so... Well, yeah, but not make use how of it? does... Okay, of course the cobble gets detected by the bottom, and... What's... What else do you have in there? Arrows and... Arrows and blocks, but I took all the arrows out to simulate the wind just then. The odds are, the odds are unbalanced at the moment. But how does it detect if you have... Blocks? Um, so, so this has, like, one signal strength worth of items in it. Yeah. So it sends one signal strength, and then, so if you add one more to it, it sends another signal strength. So it goes into the repeater and keeps the signal going. So a couple of AND gates, and then, rounds of the win box. Now. Ah, I see. Oh. Pretty cool. So I'm I'm kind of relying on people's trust here because you could actually just walk into this and like, ow, didn't take any damage now. Uh, you could just walk into this and like, deal everything. But I'm trusting people here. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, you can trust me. <laughs> <coughs> right. So if you wanna, if you wanna play, feel free. To I think it would be pretty cool if these um blocks stayed out Wait, no, longer, so you could don't actually see them. Because okay. sometimes you can like barely see what falls down. Okay, let me just reset it. Give me two seconds. All right. Wait, Matt, are you gonna be playing? Well, the cobble will be going uh, back I don't have up any, uh... into the. Nugget time. Drop no, I, that's manual back. at the moment. Yeah, but I haven't, I haven't added the the failsafe system yet, so I'll pay you back. Let me make make a note of that. Pretty cool. Right, I'm, right. I'm, 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 I haven't made the failsafe system yet, but I'm gonna set something up. If it goes, if one of the dispensers goes, well, that wasn't it wasn't ready yet, so that was a bad idea. Oh. Oh. <laughs> just give me two. You seconds, just lost please. money, Matt. You kind of did. I wonder where um how much see, money has been gambled time. yet. Wait, yeah, what like, do, where, what does this button go? get? <laughs> what, yeah, what where, button? Wherever heck oh, does that's this just go? Like to, um, to... That was when me and Quite were testing uh, it before. Yeah. I see some um, other people gamble away mm -hmm. their money and their life. I'm gambling away <laughs> Cordy's money at the moment. Watch me watch me win like first try. I'd I'd um, laugh. Four, yeah, three. if you win first try I'm Watch gonna... out baby well, zombie. I can hear a baby zombie. Where baby zombie? I'm scared. I don't know, but I can hear one. <clears throat> yeah, Baby he's out there. Oh yeah, I got him. I got. Him. Yeah, he's dead. Okay. Um, this is not more proof. Now. This is not safe at all. Okay. No, I, so I, I'm the soon going. What I'm going to set up is if one of the dispensers goes below a certain amount of items, um, it shuts down the game. So you can't just like carry on playing until you win. Huh? So if you want to play now, you can, I suppose. Quirky. What? Okay. You should. Is it, is it yeah, good? Yeah, gamble with yep. your life. Alright. Um, throw a gold nugget into the hopper below. Watch what you get in the slots. If you get three cobble, you win. If not, you lose. Wait really two seconds. What's up, what's up with the two seconds? You keep saying, like, two seconds. Well, if you wait like, two seconds, you have to wait two seconds between each turn or else it, like, glitches. Just go. Well, no. I, okay, yeah. Alright. Oh, arrows. Nah. Bam. <laughs> oh, okay, I have, I have two more. Come on. Somebody, somebody, uh, give me a good look. Blow, blow my money. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Never mind this. Someone give me the ah. money to blow. Okay, this is my last one. Oh. Eventually, I may <laughs> okay, change the odds to make it a bit fairer. Yeah, <laughs> Just see what bit. happens. Is it like one in a hundred or something? Watch him out. Well, I'll like... tell you the odds at the moment. The win chance is five percent. That's not that bad. So, so technically, you would have to gamble about Wish me luck. two ingots Wish to fingers. get one back. Oh, uh, that was all there. <laughs> oh, I think it, it's lagging because of the zombie tracking thing. So, yeah. Yeah, it is. Uh, I was experiencing that as well. Nice, I'm nice. The ocean, so wow, there are a track. lot of people on. There. Are. There's I'm always a lot of people. Set, they all just want. All right, yeah. look, I'm gonna see if I can actually well, get a it's proper It's more win. exciting. Okay, I'm more exciting. Alright, let's go. Gambling in your own casino. Oh, but, oh, hey, oh my! Oh my oh, God! No, 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 mine. Oh, wow! So let's see how many that took to actually get it. Um, 24, so the odds kind of weren't in your favor then. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. 
Wait, what is that? That's like three ingots. Like even yeah, more. So I just made I just made two ingots profit. Wow. <sighs> wow. Well, that's what, that's what casinos make. Yeah. Pretty much. All right. Mm -hmm. That was that's cool, dude. Is, yeah, yeah definitely pretty cool. Thanks well, for thanks the